Welcome to Quick Take Movie Review. Here's a detailed review of Ultraman Rising, starring Christopher Sean, Geta Watanabe, Tamlin Tomita, and directed by Shannon Tindall. In Ultraman Rising, a baseball player reluctantly takes up the mantle of Ultraman and finds himself unexpectedly tasked with parenting a baby kaiju. This new responsibility sets off a series of quirky and action-packed events. Watch this review until the end to find out if you are the target audience. Ultraman Rising attempts to bridge the gap between traditional Ultraman lore and a more Americanized Western audience. The story borrows elements from familiar narratives like How to Train Your Dragon and infuses them with Pacific Rim-style action sequences. However, the film struggles to balance these influences and establish a coherent tone. The plot is slow to take off, becoming more engaging only after the introduction of the baby kaiju. These scenes, though not particularly original, are endearing and help maintain viewer interest. Unfortunately, the movie's pacing issues are significant. Despite its nearly two-hour runtime, many scenes feel abruptly cut, preventing the emotional moments from resonating fully. Whether this is due to editing choices or inherent script flaws is unclear, but it detracts from the overall impact. One of the film's major shortcomings is its inconsistent tone. It oscillates between slapstick comedy and a more serious, emotionally heavy story about parenting, leaving the audience unsure of its intended direction. This inconsistency makes it difficult to fully engage with the characters and their arcs, as their transformations often feel unconvincing due to the abrupt scene transitions. While the comedy largely misses the mark, there is a nostalgic nod to the show at Era Godzilla that will amuse fans. The animation, however, is a highlight. It is visually stunning, with top-notch quality and a distinctive style that brings the monsters to life in a kid-friendly manner. The monster designs are creative and appealing, which could attract a younger audience. However, the film's appeal to kids is questionable. The pacing and tone may be too inconsistent to hold the attention of younger viewers, making it more suitable for preteens, though even they might find it dull at times. In conclusion, Ultraman Rising boasts impressive animation and well-executed action sequences but falters in delivering a cohesive and emotionally engaging story. It's an average watch that might appeal visually but lacks the depth and consistency needed to make a lasting impact. Fans of the franchise might find some enjoyment, but the film's uneven execution makes it a mixed bag overall. Fans of the movies listed here will find Ultraman Rising equally appealing due to its comparable plotlines and sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.